All right, so today we are going to be watching and reacting to um, Freely the Banana Girl, or the Frugivore is her new channel. Uh, she made a response to me, finally, took a while. Um, and we're going to be watching it and seeing what she has to say. I'm kind of curious what her um, criticisms are of me. But the title of this video is Obese to Beast Roasts Me and Belittles Obese Women for Money. Ooh, that's a juicy title, Freely. I'm excited to see what you have to say. Using your weight loss to promote things that are unhealthy makes you a bad person. Just also, yikes, that is not my end, that is her end. I don't know what's going on with the audio, but geez, Just letting you know. Oh God, I'm literally saying, eat healthy fruits and vegetables, don't take drugs, eat as much as you want, and I'm a bad person. Uh, it's more, it's definitely more than that. You are, you make videos, which is fine, but like to say that like, oh, I'm just helping people. You make videos calling them out and making people feel bad for not eating exactly the way that you eat. And I have spoken to so many people that have dealt with eating disorders because of your videos and because of the recommendations that you have. To say, to, so to say that all I'm saying is to eat more vegetables and fruit and yeah, it's not true. It's not true. A testimonial from morbidly obese Vicky. Let's see his reaction. Oh my god. We don't care about the testimonial. I, I really don't. I just, wow. So frustrating. Because then it makes people I'm, like me. You haven't tried to give any thoughtful. Why is there a preview of the. This video is 42 minutes long. Just play the video, man. Jeez. Commentary. You've just been laughing, mocking. No science. His channel is reminding me of those lazy cancerous reaction channels that just steal people's content to make money and don't add any value. Just basically laugh all the way through. I mean, you can think that. I mean, that's a fair criticism. I think it's a little bit different, but hey, you know, whatever. And I'm putting out a challenge to John. John, show us your testosterone levels. I've dated many guys who are on the testosterone. I can... Oh my gosh. You guys. <sighs> I'm very proud. She thinks I'm on steroids. I'm honestly, I'm honestly honored that you think that. It's honestly, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I can see it these performance enhancing drugs, which enables you to train harder. Okay, you can train harder and yes, you can begin to lose weight even more efficiently. <laughs> hey Frugivore, I'm Freely, welcome back to the Frugivore channel. So today's video is a response to, I believe his name is John from the channel Obese to Beast. I believe his name is John. You can't even get my name right. You talk about how well you do research. Jeez, man. And I have seen his videos pop up for me here and there on the sidebar. And I have watched like snippets of his videos over the years. But I don't follow him religiously or anything like that. And I don't know a lot about John. Except for the fact that I believe he lost a lot of weight. And now he helps or tries to help others do the same through coaching. And he has a book and merchandise and stuff like that. Before today's video starts, I just want to let you guys know they are finally here. The one rep at a time shirts. Dude, <laughs> that is such an old clip. And like, what? so what? What's wrong with, oh my gosh, sorry. Okay. Tank tops, and as you can tell, we do have some hoodies. So they're finally, finally out. If you want to get them for Christmas. I look good in those pictures, man. I don't care what you say in the United States. Make sure you order it by December 8th. But that's just about all I know about him. But I was sent this video from one of you, or actually a couple of you sent me this video saying, hey, you know, John is roasting you. And it's kind of obvious why he used my name. He obviously spoke to Abby about me and Abby probably said, hey, she's great for views. I've built my entire channel on Freely the Banana Girl. No. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, this is so, oh, this is so dumb. Okay. No one knew who I was until I started making videos on her. And as you can see, his views are very low, you know, in previous, previous month. Views are very low in comparison to the one where he mentions. I mean, views are, they fluctuate, but like 96,000 views, you know, 44,000 views, 42,000 views, 83,000 views, 91,000 views. 58,000 views like yeah yours did well but like 
Okay. Like, that's good. You should be proud of yourself. Congratulations. It's my name and roast me. So, you know, people love to roast Freely Banana Girl, use my name, and that is fine because I want you to do that because it helps spread this message. I think that is great. All right, then stop complaining. Well, well, come on, let's get let's get it together. Come on. But he obviously got this advice off our good mate, Abby. Not so- this stuff is it's so embarrassing because she's making... She's making these claims. It's like, dude, if you have things that you believe, you can share them. But like to say it's obvious that it's this is exactly what happened. Like, dude, come on. Like, come on. Let's be real. Like, how could you possibly know? How could you possibly know for a fact? Like, dude, me and Abby have literally one. The only time we ever talked was when in that video have never talked about you. Like, holy crap. I can't imagine being so full of yourself. So sharp. And I started to watch that video on Abby and she is really sucking up to him hardcore. It's quite embarrassing. And I actually shared the video in my Instagram story. And I said, you know, um, has anyone watched this? What do you think? What's what's he saying basically and i got a few responses okay i got a few responses so i just want to read out this one quickly from esme she says i'm 14 minutes in and he has yet to say anything based on facts and science he is simply being a troll and providing zero helpful information to his followers incredibly irresponsible of him i couldn't finish it he's using you to make money from ads while providing no value crucifying you for bringing up your book accusing you of hating fat people while saying hateful things about you he should be thanking you for creating content that many people find to be controversial so that he can make money from it thank you freely for making content that people find controversial so I can make money off of it. We appreciate it over here. In the comments, his followers are eating up the hypocrisy of his commentary. It's really sad. Please don't waste your time on this mean person. And I read that and I was like, well, that's a shame. You know, that's a shame that he's um, taken that approach. Okay. Okay. I want to make it clear. The reason I think this is so funny is because you guys, she does the same thing. And guess what? I do not care. She makes videos about other people. That's mainly what her channel is about. And she gets views from it. And guess what? You're allowed to do that. It's called commentary. And I'm not going to sit here and say you're not allowed to do that. You're totally fine to do that. It's so funny how someone who does the same thing as me is saying, how dare you do the thing that I also do? Like, Come on, dude. But I still want to check it out. And I'm very glad that he made this video because, you know, he sent already some people over to my channel who have subscribed. And just quickly, here's a message from a fan of his who watches both of us. And he watched a video and he said, wow, this was really disappointing to me as someone who has enjoyed him for some time and enjoyed his content. And this individual actually used to be uh, 247 pounds. So he used to be obese and he took on a high carb, low fat plant based diet. And he thanked me for helping him and also for promoting um, the message of peace and health. So I am thankful. Dude, this is so frustrating, man. Like anyone that is in a caloric deficit will lose weight regardless of whatever type of diet they're on. So, yes, there are going to be people that are high carb that have lost weight doing high carb diets. People that are high fat that have lost weight doing high fat diets. Like It's so frustrating to sit here and be like, oh, he did high carb. That's the reason he lost weight. No, he lost weight because he's in a caloric deficit. Good on him. He looks great. But like, dude, it's so frustrating when people like, no, my diet is the reason that that people can lose weight. Also, I'm going to speed up this video because holy crap, this is a long one. Um, So we're going to do 1.5 for that and you know ultimately hopefully more animals are going to be safe so john thank you for a start for actually making this video so anyway let's get into it shall we i'm not gonna watch the whole thing obviously because it's like 40 minutes and that is too much it's gonna be like a two-hour video but i'm just gonna watch snippets here and there so let's check it out okay uh, so this video was sent in to the discord it's a little bit of an older video but i still think it's, it's an interesting one this video comes from well i guess your new cha- channel is called the frugivore frutivore i don't know Fru- frugivore i don't i don't know what it's supposed to mean <laughs> okay so firstly he Okay, John doesn't know what a frugivore is, and that's a very sad thing because that's what he is. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's what he is biologically, anatomically. So, John. No, I'm not. You need to do a little bit more research on that, and that is an animal that. No, I don't. Gets most of its calories from fruit, okay? And biologically meant to eat a lot of. Fr- I don't get most of my calories from fruit. Fruit, like humans are, because we are frugivores, so. No, we're not. Yeah. He- I'm assuming it's carnivore and fruit. But, but uh, so this is freely the banana girl. Carnivore and fruit. Okay. Freely the banana girl, who, if you guys are not familiar, she. Uh, 
she's been on YouTube for a very long time. Um, she's been controversial basically the whole time she's been on YouTube. I've been controversial the whole time being on YouTube because I've been speaking the truth for a long, long time. And yes, I've definitely been at times saying it in a controversial, confronting manner. But, you know, people always have the choice to come to my channel or not come to my channel. So, yeah, controversy is a good way, obviously, to get attention for your message. But if your message isn't... Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm doing and that's what you do. So why are you criticizing this? It's so strange to me. Like, that's such a weird criticism to make in this video. It's so weird. Helping people isn't actually enriching their lives and also helping the animals and the planet. Then what's the point? You know, you're just making money out of it. That's not what I'm about. And a lot of you know that, of course. And for a long time, I don't know if she does it still, but for a long time, she basically, she would promote eating like 30 bananas a day. So only eating bananas. So that was her, uh, that was what she would, uh, that's what she would promote to people. Okay, so that's not actually true. So he, he obviously, I think he wants to frame me here as being a bit of an extremist, right? Because it's- but Bro, because you are. Jesus. Come on. It's good to start your video like that if you want to make someone look like they're extreme and they're a bit crazy, you know what I mean? But look, 30 bananas a day, yes, that's a website that I created. It's just the name of a website. I've never said that anyone has to eat 30 bananas a day. That's a diet. It's not a diet, okay? It's not something you have to do every day. It, yeah, he hasn't done enough research on me or he's trying to frame me as being- Dude, she said, I only named my whole website that. I, w I didn't want anyone to do that, so I'm gonna make a website that says fast for 30 days in a row. But then like, why would someone actually fast for 30 days in a row? That's so weird. It's just the title of the, just the name of the website that I always get people to go to in every single video that I make. Wow, so strange. Come on. Being an extremist from the get-go. I get it, I get it. So, um, she made this video, it's called Glitter and Lasers TikTok What I Eat in a Day Freely Reacts. Nope, this won't work. So I'm Yeah, and you can see like a lot of people, a lot of people appreciated that video if you read the comments and you can see that it was, I mean, I'm not all about the likes, but obviously a lot of people liked it and resonated with it, okay? So, so in 30 days, and here's why I wanted to make this video, I ate over 100 pounds of bananas. I ate almost 50. 100 pounds of bananas in 30 days, wow. It's a lot of bananas. Pounds of potatoes. And what happened? Well, there was some weight loss and that's fantastic. I lost over 20 pounds. Great. You know, that's, I, I hope for more weight loss because that's good for my health. But more than 30 days have gone by now and I haven't binged and I don't feel so crazy. And that is what has made it worthwhile for me. Hey, free woman. Okay, okay so first up, um, I find it interesting that he didn't respond to Vicky's testimonial then. I mean, like, wasn't that- Because you're using it to get other people to do your crazy diet. So I'm not trying to bring this woman into this stuff because it has nothing to do with her. Good on her for losing the weight. That's awesome. If she found something that works for her, that's great. What I, am, what I care about here is you, not the other people that you're trying to throw in front of yourself to deflect criticism because, oh, this person has been helped. That's not what it's about. It's about you, not about the, the people, the people that you've helped, okay? that the most powerful one of the most powerful testimonials that you just saw then from someone who is following who followed my advice and got amazing results changed their life and um, a morbidly obese individual and that's what he's about I, I thought about helping those individuals so you think he would have said wow that's amazing that's amazing to hear that but he's very silent he doesn't say anything and that makes me question his true intention let's watch it together this is the story on how i went from this to this that's insane by the way like look at that he's this dude is shredded good work dude I'll tell the entire thing, the good, the bad. Now, I don't want to bore you guys with like a long backstory. Because I love hearing the backstory of how someone got to where they were. I think, it, I maybe I'm weird. I probably am weird. But that stuff is so interesting to me. You know, apparently he's about helping people lose weight. So shouldn't he be celebrating when someone has lost weight and feeling great and like helping their eating disorder? I just, I don't know, it's just something I noticed. And she put up this video, weight loss, diet and fitness. I'm spilling all the tea. And she talks about being fearful, basically of the body positivity community, you know, thinking, being negative towards her for wanting to get healthy. What is the world that we are living in when someone is trying to improve their health? So this is a perfect example of when people at the Health at Every Size movement talk about, you know, people that are in fitness or in health or whatever are toxic because this is what we get. People like this acting this way, and I can almost guarantee, I haven't seen this video, can almost guarantee her solution is going to be something that is unsustainable, that is not going to be helpful, and it's probably gonna be something that makes freely a little bit of money. I mean, I still stand by that. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I agree. Wow. Okay. That, that's a real shame that he kind of, he tries to frame me that way immediately from the get go. I'm just here to make money. You know, I don't really care. People like this, you know, they're, they're the problem. After I just said the sentence about this individual wanting to lose weight and getting pulled down for it, you know, and being like punished by the body positivity movement. And he comes up with that. It was really strange. His response to what I said, it's like he had it pre arranged and I don't know. It's a real shame. So I'm just about the money and I don't really care. That's kind of like the vibe he is bringing here. I mean, he has a book himself. He has merchandise himself. Um, he's featured other people like Greg Duchette, or I'm not sure his name is, but... 
I don't, uh, one, I don't sell any of that stuff anymore. And two, again, like you can make money off of it. And maybe that was not the best criticism because yes, Greg does the same thing, but it's just frustrating when someone is promoting something that I have, when I have spoke, I have spoken to many, many, many people, many people in my DMs and all of this stuff that have said, because of Freely, I had an eating disorder because of Freely and because of her videos and because of these things that she says, I did the XYZ thing happened to me. And so it's, it's really frustrating um, when I hear that and then I see someone promoting this stuff constantly while also I, I, me and Anna, it's not like we're friends or anything like glitter and lasers, but I've seen her be relentlessly attacked from the body positivity movement, but also the, uh, you know, fitness space. And so I just feel really bad for her. And it's really frustrating, man. It's really frustrating when I see people just attacking her for trying to do something. And I, I, I shouldn't get as emotional about it as I do because again, Anna probably she probably doesn't even know that I like I have this like thought about her, but like I really, it's just frustrating that the fitness space will treat someone so poorly and like she she tries to make it like her videos are so helpful and like she's helping people, but she is she's super mean. She she makes it she's very like I don't know. It's just he pushes his book. Abby Sharp. Hope she's got a book like. Yes, this is my book and I'm very proud of it and I always speak about it because I believe in it. It has helped many, many, many people turn their life around and yes, it is sustainable because you know what's not sustainable being in a hospital bed, feeling horrible all the time, not being able to see your family, you know, being on medication. That's not sustainable. Healthy eating, whole food eating is sustainable if you prioritize your health above all. And that's now, what you just said right there, I don't even disagree with. I, obviously, you don't want to be in a hospital bed. You don't want to be eating whole foods, eating healthy foods. That's totally fine. But to promote eating raw foods only and then to promote like all of these other things and make people feel like they need to do that. And if they do not do that, they are not healthy or they're bad people because of that. That's what's frustrating to me. That's what everyone should be doing. Before we move on, just stop for a second and press the thumbs up or press the thumbs down. And if you're feeling the thumbs down, you can do that. If you're not feeling... Okay. Me, you're not feeling me today. How, bro, how are you going to be mad? You literally told me to do it. You told me to do it. Of course I'm going to do it. Come on. That you asked me to do it. Why, why are you surprised? You said, or thumbs it down. I was like, okay. Why are you, come on, come on. You can thumbs down this video too, Freely. You're allowed to. I won't be mad. Okay. You know, that's fine. He's allowed to do that for sure. I have no problem. It's funny though that the video has, has just started. Literally just started. You told me to do it. You said thumbs down or thumbs up. You gave me a choice and you wanted me to do it right then. I was listening. Jeez. And before he's even watched it, he is like thumbing it down. So yeah, that's interesting. Kind of shows a little bit about his um, intentions. Just a little bit of a sentence from this one. Cheese and meat, you gotta get these unhealthy, cruel, cruel foods out of your diet. And you might be like, oh, you're just saying that because it's unethical. I am all about ethics, yes. I care about other animals. I don't want to see them killed unnecessarily just for my meal. I think that is disgusting and so unnecessary. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't care about ethics, but let me spend the next like, you know, amount of time trying to make you feel bad for, for eating meat. <laughs> but. I didn't say I don't care about ethics. I said I care about ethics. <laughs> I care? That's what I said. So I don't know. He just doesn't listen. Um, man, she's really, she's struggling, man. More bananas, John. More bananas. This is also about health. These foods don't contain any fiber. They don't contain any carbohydrates. Like they're obviously not meant to go in our incredibly long digestive system. They're just not meant to go in there. Okay? <laughs> she just crossed out her omnivore. <laughs> through very quick. I think like, I think John, this might be the first time he's exposed to human physiology and the fact that we are frugivores. I think he's he's been hanging in the fitness world a lot, in the gym world. I get it. I was a personal trainer for years. I had my own business. I know. I know what it's all about in that sort of world, that sort of realm. But I think this is really blowing his mind a bit. I think it's great. It's certainly not. I mean, it's blowing my mind because how stupid it is, but that's about it. And that all his viewers, he's showing all his viewers the comparative anatomy sh chart and showing where frugivore, hum and showing where humans fit in. I think this is awesome. Quickly through, you know, uh, omnivore, a carnivore's digestive system, and we don't have that. We have the frugivore digestive system. Okay, so what? it causes a lot. What is this? What is a <laughs> This is quite funny. A frugivore, a different type of person? What is... <laughs> John, John, I think, I think rather than kind of just mocking you know and kind of making fun of me and and the chart maybe do a little bit more research yourself into human physiology and how the body actually works you know science i've done i've done enough research eating only fruit not a good idea okay not a good idea you should eat other things i supports this so i'm not sure why he finds it so funny she found a new species i guess i don't know 
what the problem. So she tried keto. Oh, and man. I did keto, and I actually developed a really terrible keto rash all over. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because you're not meant to eat keto. You're not meant to eat a high meat and cheese diet. It's and you're also not meant to eat basically only fruit as well. Well, John, that's where you're wrong, okay? And I don't say to eat only fruit. You did say basically only fruit. But we are designed to eat a fruit-based diet because we are human frugivores, okay? And if you really do some deep research and you experience this lifestyle even for yourself, you will begin to realize, like, yes, this is how we're meant to eat. And I do also promote, if you did a bit of research in my Raw Till 4 book, I do promote <laughs> cooked plant foods, okay? It, I do follow a raw food lifestyle myself, fruit-based raw food diet myself. I have done for many months now. But for years, I've been fruit-based and I have been incorporating cooked food and I recommend that as well. I recommend a whole lot of plant foods. It's not an extreme diet, okay? Here's what I eat in a typical day. First, I started with a goat cheese spinach frittata and some roasted sweet potatoes. It's one. Okay, so that is what she's starting with. Goat cheese spinach frittata and roast sweet potato. I'm all about the roast sweet potato. I think that's great. But for breakfast, I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't recommend it because I'm all about the fruit. You know, you need it hydrate. We know, we know. We know you like fruit. <laughs> we get it. Thanks, we man. understand. We, we understand. Eating nourish, no. but until you start eating a fruit-based diet, I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be telling you the truth about your physiology, about what you're actually meant to be eating. And I know, you know, you can mock me and make fun of me, but I'll still be here. Oh, we know. We know. Don't, again, don't need to keep bringing it up. We we definitely know. I'll still be here trying to help. Food in the morning. Fruit is just where it's, where it's at because it's full of water, full of fiber. It is really, really healthy for your colon to have that first thing in the morning. Okay, so this spinach frittata thing is just obviously, it's just full of fat. It's goat cheese, it's eggs. It's just no, okay? It's no, no, no. It is cruel food and it is not. It's cruel food, all right? It's freaking mean, all right? It makes fun of people this food does. Don't eat it. Okay, so. It's a joke. It's a joke, Freely. Jesus, dude. It's a joke. I was making a joke. Obviously, I know that you're going to bring up the, the animals and being not a vegan is you're a terrible person. I get it. I know where you're going to go with this. It was a joke. Jeez, dude. Holy smokes. Uh, we're going to skip ahead and uh, go right like here. That's it. And we leave animals alone. Good for her waistline. Okay, the amount of fat, it has 53% fat, this thing. Okay, it has a bunch of sodium. You know, 53% fat. It, it's, it's way too much. The carbs, the carbs. Now, I mean, I want to make it clear. I'm not a huge fan of uh, keto or anything like that. Like, I, I am a fan of balanced nutrition, eating enough of what you need, not eating you know, excess in, in fat, excess in carbs, excess in, in protein, like having a balanced diet, something that is sustainable, right? That's why I don't promote keto. I don't promote these crazy diets because the thing that is most important to me is finding a sustainable diet that lasts for the rest of your life. That's what matters to me, okay? That's, that's what matters to me. Not promoting some agenda of like this is the way that I'm eating and this is how you should eat. Like that's not what I care about. 5% fat on carbs. Mm. And I know she had sweet potato, but she needs way more, way more than this. So Anna's breakfast came. I mean, I would love to know how she exact knows exactly what the calories are in this stuff. Like, obviously, she's going to make it as bad as, as possible. So I would say take all this stuff with a grain of salt. Well, if you actually if you actually look on the screen, I've got it. Snap kitchen spinach and goat cheese ricotta. That's how I know because I do research, John. It says it there. It's it's clear as day. You know, I don't I didn't just pull it out of thin air. Out to 370 calories. I mean, that's ridiculous for her. She needs to start the day with so many more calories, and I'm talking more like 1,279 calories. That's what I've got here for her. Okay, so I actually, you know, designed the breakfast for her, which is a BG Snackers. BG Snackers is a picture of me here, but it is a delicious. I mean, I I already brought it up, but like, dude, 1,200 calories for a breakfast is like. Recipe, which is page 163. Wow, she's selling something. What a surprise! I would have never guessed. Oh my goodness! How strange! Cannot believe it. My mind is blown. Gosh, why is he being so irritating? Why is he like, ugh, like being so sarcastic and just mocking me? Because I'm making a joke. Freely. That's why. It's a joke. When he sells products himself. Um, you know, I, I'm proud of my books. There's nothing wrong with selling information products. Okay? I'm not pushing supplements on people. I'm not pushing useless stuff. I'm not taking sponsorships and lying to my audience. These, this is a product. These are products that I'm very, very proud of that change lives, that cost, you know, dinner and movies to change someone's life, okay? And I have been on YouTube for since 2007 is when I started my account, okay? So I have like over a thousand free videos with all this information. You don't have to buy this. I mean, I have over a thousand videos on this channel as well. Like, okay, great. You do not have to buy this. And I know like, I don't have to justify this to you, okay? Because you, un you get it, you get where I'm coming from, okay? And you know that I put out a lot of free content 
endless free content over the years. Does he take sponsorships? I bet he takes sponsorships. Okay, he has a book himself. He pushes his shirts. He pushes his products. So, man, when was the last time you guys felt me pushing a bunch of merch on you guys? Like, come on, dude. Oh my god. It's being very hypocritical, and he's also featured Greg Duchette, I believe, who apparently pushes his own book a lot. But that's okay because unfortunately, John has an ulterior motive. He has an agenda against me and against a fruit-based diet. So you can see that's pretty clear, right? Well, I mean, I want to call it an agenda, but no, I, I, I severely disagree with what you have to say. So yes, I'm going to be more critical of what you have to say versus what Greg has to say. Well, maybe he's like kind of a jerk and he can be over the top. But I, I do agree with his the way that he looks at dieting, the way that he looks at nutrition. I align more with that. So of course, I'm going to be less critical. I think that's a pretty normal thing. Yeah, let's have people eat eight bananas for freaking breakfast with five dates and some soy milk and PB2. Yeah, that sounds, sounds like a... Eight, are you eight bananas? Oh my... So he's obviously very uneducated when it comes to optimal human nutrition. Okay, very. And the thing is, he's like, he's trashing this so much, but I have so many testimonials from, yes, morbidly obese, obese individuals. I share them on my Instagram. I share them here. I share them on my channel. Real people getting real life results. Okay? I hate when people say that. Real people getting real life results. You sound like a freaking infomercial dude yeah so do i but i don't claim dude this is so frustrating to me i don't claim that because m me bringing them the information i'm the one that did it for them so frustrating you didn't lose the weight for anyone they did it on their own it was their decision it was their choice like to take to take ownership of someone else's transformation dude is so frustrating to me and people do all the time not just freely people in the fitness industry everywhere do it and it's like dude you had you had n a minuscule amount to do with someone actually changing their life and losing over 100 pounds or something like that so frustrating to me okay. just from my book or just watching my free videos uh, over a thousand free videos so john the proof is in the banana pudding okay maybe you should try it i know at times it can be difficult dieting changing changing your physique changing your body making a positive health change making a big dietary change is not easy and no Dude, oh my gosh. Like, again, good job on all of them. But it's like anecdotal evidence is not what matters here. Like, bringing up one person that lost weight because they did this diet. Like, yes, you can find that for literally any diet. Just like you. You hate keto, right? I can find thousands of people that have lost a lot of weight doing keto. Like, that doesn't mean that it's the best thing to be doing. Like, oh my gosh, man. I just, like, so frustrating. No one ever said the f is going to be. That's just the way it is. When it comes to weight loss, when it comes to better health, you got to want this sh more than anything in the world. You really do. All that's going to hold you back is you, if you let it. And for those of you who are out who are out there, who are on the fence about all this, who are kind of new to this lifestyle, or kind of him and hod, him and hoy, you know, no more excuses. No more, make no more excuses for yourself. This is the lifestyle for you. You didn't just find this by chance. You found this for a reason. If you're working this lifestyle and you're working it for a reason, stick with it. You can see the results, you know, and you can get results like this too on the raw to four lifestyle or, or on a high carb vegan lifestyle. And you can get results like that doing, uh, you know, being in a caloric deficit and not being on high carb and not being on high fat and not being on anything like that. Like you can get results in that way as well. Like, so if you want to check out my books, I highly recommend it. Get on the program. Stop stuffing around. The link is in the description below. This is physical books that you can buy on Amazon or you can get the ebook bundle, which is the best value. You can download ASAP. So. I just want to make a point here and I want to request blood tests from John, okay? Because I have put my blood tests up. I'm showing transparency. He's trashing what I recommend. He's saying, oh, it's crap. You know, don't listen to her. Oh, this is a joke and just constantly mocking me and everything. Well, if it's true that my lifestyle is so unhealthy, this and that, then why are my blood tests excellent after 14 years, at a 40 year old, 14 years as a fruit-based vegan? Why are my results so good, okay? You know, like, what about John's results? You know, I would like to see his results. And I'm putting out a challenge to John. John, show us your testosterone levels, your hematocrit, your hemoglobin, and your red blood cell count. In particular, I also want to see your HbA1c test, which shows your average blood sugar over the, basically the last two to three months. I want to see that one. And, and I want to see if you know, iron, everything like that. How about you put up a full, full blood count and your serum, your biochemistry? Okay, I want to see. I think people are going to be really interested because you are trashing the way that I am you know, teaching others and you're saying it's no good and it's unhealthy, everything like that. So let's see what your results are because I suspect that he got to the size that he did through taking testosterone, okay? Through these performance enhancing drugs, which enables you to train harder, okay? You can train harder and yes, you can begin to lose weight even more efficiently, but you pay oh for it in the end, God. okay? You pay for it with your mental, your sanity and changes within your body that are not favorable, okay? So if he's saying to people- There it is. There it is, baby. Hey, honestly, I'm kind of bummed that it was Freely is the one that is calling me out for taking steroids, and it wasn't Greg Doucette. 
maybe Greg will see this video and then he'll be like, you know what? Maybe I should make a natty or not on John because I honestly, that's all I want. Okay. I want people to think I'm taking steroids. All right. That's my biggest, that's the biggest compliment I think I've ever gotten. Freely, thank you so much. You have made my day. You are a wonderful person. I take back everything I said. We can be friends. We should go to a fruit place and eat coconuts together because you truly obviously care very much about me and you you compliment me in so many ways. Honestly, I am blown away. Uh, but but seriously, I am not going to take a freaking blood test uh, for you. No, good, not going to do that. Um, also, it's just so frustrating because, again, I know for a fact Freely is someone that's like, uh, I don't like the the healthcare system. Okay, I shouldn't say for a fact, but like she's she gives off the vibes like I don't like the healthcare system. Blah blah blah. Whatever they say isn't true. But then the fact that she is like, oh my blood tests are great and we should trust everything that these blood tests say. While in her original video, her doctor didn't even know how old she was. Mm, I don't know about that. And also, it's just so frustrating. There's people in chat right now. I've seen it. They're like, I'm I'm a hundred pounds overweight. I'm two hundred pounds overweight, and my blood tests are completely fine. So like to sit here and say when she, I guarantee she knows that that's not the um, end all be all of of whether or not you're healthy. Like it's so freaking frustrating, man. It's like you obviously do not actually believe this. And again, like I know I'm joking around. I have never take I have never taken a steroid. I've never taken any sort of performance enhancing drug. I, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that she even thinks that. And like the the fact that she went to this point in her video just shows that she she doesn't really have much to say, right? She's just going to attack me. Like it's just so weird. Like why would I even do that? Like I don't compete in anything. I don't I just it's so strange. Like why would I I don't know. Whatever. Okay. I have never taken steroids, but I appreciate the compliment. Well, hey, just, you know, starve yourself a little bit. You know, do this calorie deficit, which we know doesn't work. People are always trying to do this calorie deficit. They're just going to binge out. So, so why why is it that, you know, you can show these, um, you can show these anecdotal, you know, this person lost weight doing the frugivore thing. This person, this person. But then me, someone that has lost weight doing a caloric deficit to, to lose a weight, has been able to keep it off for many, many years. And I have many, many friends that have been able to, um, to do with that for do that for many many years and keep the weight off like why why is it that those don't count because you disagree with it like i'm not sitting here saying i disagree with the fact that people have been able to lose weight doing the frugivore thing but the reason okay the reason they have lost weight is because they're in a caloric deficit not because you i know you claim that you're eating 7000 8000 calories a day and people are losing weight eating that many calories i guarantee i promise you you guys like I promise you it doesn't work like that. Like that is my biggest issue. My my issue isn't that you're eating fruit, you're eating bananas. Like I could care less. Like I genuinely genuinely could care less about what you're eating freely. I could care less. The reason I made my response video was because you put out this video telling Anna she should be eating 7,000 to 8,000 calories to lose weight. It's not true. It's not true. Not because you said you should eat fruits and vegetables. Of course, everyone should eat fruits and vegetables. But to say that you should eat only fruits and vegetables and you should be eating 7,000 to 8,000 calories a day to lose weight. I'm sorry. It's just wrong. Like that, it's not how it works. That's, that's the problem that I have. Not because you're telling people to eat fruits and vegetables. I could care less. So they have to change the source of the calories, right? They have to get from whole plant foods. That is the ticket. And that, he's not teaching people that at all you know he eats animals he eats their secretions and he teaches others to eat that but to calorie restrict it's the only reason you have to calorie restrict it because it's not meant to go in the human frugivore body and you know if he's telling people to lose weight via the restriction but he's not being transparent with them about taking testosterone himself anabolic steroids in order to get to that point which i can tell he has been taking i dated former mr Stra oh my god she said i have an eye for it and i can tell i can tell he's taking steroids Honestly, I should be getting a refund because, man, I should be more shredded than this. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Australia bodybuilder, okay? I was a personal trainer for many years. I've dated many guys who are on the testosterone. I can, I can see it a mile away. And obviously, I don't recommend people take drugs, okay? It, this is not a long-term solution. John wow, Freely, you're so based, you know? I don't recommend people take drugs. Wow. Amazing. John, that's not sustainable. So please, show us your blood tests.
Anyone who is having caffeine in their diet has an inadequate diet. It is a deficient diet. But look, this is why she needs to eat more. She needs to eat more for breakfast and more carbohydrates, okay? Like, so she has energy and she doesn't go for the drugs. Because this is what these people are doing. They go. <laughs> Oh my God, dude, this, this can't be real. I, I'm living in the matrix, I'm living in. He's very mainstream. <laughs> He's very part of the mainstream crowd. I'm living in. That was a funny, I don't know if that was in my video or her video, but that was a funny ad, wh wh wherever it came from. <laughs> this is a Narnia, I don't know what's very going on. Are you kidding me? She said drugs. I mean, she's not wrong, but oh my gosh. She's not wrong, but oh my gosh. I, I really. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Like, yeah, technically caffeine is a drug, but so is sugar. But I don't say like, hey, stop eating those drugs over there. Put that drug down. Sir, I'm eating a candy bar. It's drugs. You drug addict. No, I don't freaking say that because no one talks like that. No one talks like that. That's why I was laughing. Find it hard to get what, what he's about. You know, I'm just stating a fact that caffeine is a drug. Anyone can look it up. Like he said, he agrees. It's the most widely used drug stimulant on earth. Okay, so I don't know why he stops that, you know, like he stops it because he's very like safe in his delivery. Okay, he he doesn't want to offend anyone who might have, you know, a following that may like, you know, attack him or something like that. But for me to say it about me, you know, to mock me and everything like that is okay because it's popular to do so. Because those who are bringing the truth are often ridiculed, violently opposed, mocked, you know, that, that's just how it goes. And I'm used to it, but it won't stop me, of course. But I just think it's you know kind of cowardly, you know, because he's the type to like, you know, see, oh yeah, freely gonna go, yeah, yeah, she's gonna be good, you know, like lots of people hate her, you know, she's gonna be a great, you know, target for me, and I can like, you know, just make money off the ads from this video, and I can just like trap. Dude, this is so ridiculous. She does the same thing. Like, I don't, this is so ridiculous. Like, she literally does the same thing. Like, she's talking about glitter and lasers, make the vegan, freely reacts to vegan TikToks, freely reacts to Madeline, blah, blah, blah. Viral Reddit calls me out. She, uh, what I eat in a day for a small, like, talking about another person, 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 talking about another person. Like, this is such a stupid criticism. Like, I do not understand. Like, it's so weird for you to make this criticism because yeah, I do it, but so do you. Yeah, someone in chat said it's Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man. Like, what are you, like, come on. Ridiculed, violently opposed, mocked. You know, that, that's just how it goes, and I'm used to it, but it won't stop me, of course. But I just think it's, you know, kind of cowardly, you know, because he's the type to, like, you know, see, oh, yeah, freely, but I go, yeah, yeah, she's going to be good. You know, like, lots of people hate her. You know, she's going to be a great, you know, target for me, and I can, like, you know, just make money off the ads from this video, and I can just, like, trash her. You know, a lot of people like to trash her. No one's going to really call me out for it. You know, he makes these calculated guesses on, you know, videos that he's going to do based on the popularity factor, and I don't do that. I do it based on truth. I know I'm hated for a lot of what I put out. I know that, okay, but it's the truth. If you know you're hated, then why are you complaining? Like, I just, I don't get that at all. It's the cold, hard truth. And a lot of people hate it, I get it. Caffeine, can't have the kids, can't let the kids get on caffeine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. You know the I mean, it was funny, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, I was having a good time. I, sorry for laughing, I apologize. The whole video really is just him kind of laughing at me. He's not bringing up any valid points against what I'm saying. You know, you think he would be on my side. You know, you think he would be like, yes, you know, she's trying to help Anna get healthy. So this is, this just shows that she has absolutely, she doesn't mean anything she's saying. Like being like, you would think he would be on my side. No. Why? Why? Because I, I'm, because Anna's a bigger person and I'm not a bigger person. Like, no, just because you're someone that, that has lost some weight, like doesn't mean that I automatically have to agree with everything that you say. It's not how the world works. You know, like obviously Anna has a problem. Her mom even died at 52 and her sister died young as well. You know, she needs help. She needs to hear the cold, hard truth. Not not from you. Like, I don't get how that's so hard to understand. She doesn't need you to make a video about her telling her that she should lose weight doing this, 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 and this. Like, that's not what she needs. So that's why I don't understand. Like, this is not the way to actually help people. If that's what you really want to do, you could have reached out to her and say, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. That's why I don't make that claim. Because it's so stupid. Like when I make a video, I'm not saying, oh, I made this video because I actually want to help this person. No, I make a video because I want to make, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to get clicks on it. I'm going to, I'm going to share my thoughts, 
not just with the person that the video is about, but with other people that might be in that situation. So if you were to say freely, I'm making this video because I don't really think that I'll be able to help out Anna, because obviously why would she want help from me when I made this video on her? But there are other people in the community that I think this video will make. That makes much more sense to me than saying, oh, this is to help Anna out. Like, come on, man. Not all this fluffing around like he does, you know? Diet. All right, so uh, next, I mean, I haven't had coffee for something like 15 years, okay, because my diet's not deficient, right? Wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no restriction, no excessive exercise, no caffeine. No excessive exercise, that's a lie. And also, hey, congrats on your weight loss, but using your weight loss, use it. That's a lie. Um, no, it's not. No excessive exercise. It's not a lie, so. I don't know. I, I Maybe I'm wrong, but I remember from back in the day, she used to cycle like many, 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 many hours a day. That's what I remember. I, I obviously don't keep up with you, but maybe I'm wrong. So if I'm wrong on that one, I'll, I'll take that L. That's fine. Your weight loss to promote things that are unhealthy makes you a bad person. Just letting you know. It says, hang on. That's exactly what you do, John. You use your weight loss to promote eating a calorically deficient, unhealthy diet filled with cruel animal products. At the same time, not telling your audience about your testosterone use. Oh, man. <laughs> I guess that I'm a bad person too, you guys. I don't know what to tell you. I don't even really know what to say to that. <laughs> the sound effect was nice though. I like that. Because I've had my weight off for seven years and I'm not here sit sitting here um, saying, hey, you should only eat freaking bananas. Because guess what? That's Excuse me? So he just called me a bad person. Yeah, I did. I did. For promoting whole fresh fruits and veggies. A what? <laughs> No, I, I, I'm calling you a bad person because you're um, giving people false hope, saying that you can eat five, six, th 7,000 calories uh, in fruit and vegetables and uh, continue to lose weight. That's not how it works. And um, I know that there have been many, many people that that information, that information, that advice has really hurt. That's why I think you're a bad person. Not because you're telling people to eat fruits and vegetables. I think eating fruits and vegetables is a great idea. Why is why has he got such a vendetta against me? Like this guy is like really it's a shame. You know, I know he is like a lost fruit of all and everything, but he is really trying to frame me as a bad person who only cares about money, who doesn't care about anyone else. I It's a fruitly ridiculous. Oh, okay, and he's saying that he's he's kept his weight off for seven years, but but you're not telling people how you got there, really, John, with the testosterone. You're not telling people you're not being But I am. So like you're just you're literally wrong. Like I don't I don't the fact that I feel like I don't even feel like I have to defend myself from like Someone claiming that I'm taking, like, it's just absolutely ridiculous, but like, absolutely ridiculous. But like, it just shows that you obviously had to go there because you had literally nothing else that you could say. You had literally nothing else that you could say. So you had to claim that I am taking illegal substances to make my, like, it's just crazy because, like, I don't even think that what I've done is that insane. It's a very normal thing. I've lost weight and I've put on muscle. Not that crazy. It's been eight years. Like, that stuff happened. Oh my gosh. Fully transparent. Okay. People can't do what you're recommending they do, which is semi starvation. And also, you're not telling them about the drugs. Okay. Because that accelerates your results a lot, but you pay for it in the end. And yeah. I mean, I agree. Yeah. Don't, don't take steroids. I mean, I'm not going to defend them because <laughs> I think that they're bad. Being no drugs. None of that. Okay. Because I'm feeding myself correctly. I'm, like, I'm literally saying eat healthy fruits and vegetables. Don't take drugs. Eat as much as you want. And I'm a bad person. What world, what like universe am I living in? What is this place? What is this place? You know, like. Oh. I said it earlier in my video. I think it's Narnia is where we've ended up now. I'm getting enough fruit in, getting enough fructose in. This is just horrible. For dinner, I had a nice steak. Oh, a nice steak. Sister, like, this is just like disgusting. It's just this chunk of animal ass. I mean, it looks know? good to me. I don't know what I'm about to tell you. Like, why, why? It looks good to me. Like, it's, very, it's very creative and very, um, Kind of like the guy you find at the local pub. Yeah, I love me a good steak. You know, they're just, they, their level of education is very, very limited, very low. And they just want to be relatable to the mainstream. They don't really want to tell people the truth. And I wish John cared more about people to the point of actually telling them the truth. And I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. So, yeah. Learning the truth for himself, like I do. But he's too scared to do that. He's too scared to push against the mainstream. And I, I know it can be scary because people, you know, like him. I mean, I'm not scared of him, obviously. But people will mock you. People will even violently oppose you. Okay, they will just just tear you down with it however they can. And I know that's a scary thing, but he's not living a life of true integrity. Dude, y <sighs> to play the victim in this situation is so funny to me. Like her, like literally almost all of her videos and her whole, like her whole presence. 
is based on tearing other people down or like reacting to other people or making other people feel bad. Like, so to sit here and play the victim, like this is why I don't really care that much because like I know what she has done to other people and I know the things that she has done to other people and how, how she has made other people feel. So I'm just like, yo, it's okay. Integrity and telling people the truth. Hey, would you put that into your body? And like, this is why you're the size you are. Okay, you are a frugivore eating like a carnivore. No, we're not frugivores, dog. We are human beings. It's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, so he's a little bit confused on the whole biology anatomy. I, I, I suggest you actually do a little bit of research, John, before you make this video so it doesn't make you sound like you don't know much at all. Fuck. Nah, I'm good. Me no worky, okay? Me no worky, all right? We understand you don't work. We figured that out so far. <laughs> I don't know why she keeps that. That was a, good, that was a funny joke. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, so sharing the testimonial from morbidly obese Vicky, okay? And she did 30 days raw. Who... Who does that? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Ima oh, man. Imagine if I had someone on my channel and I was like, you guys, welcome. Morbidly obese uh, James over here. We have morbidly obese James going to be sharing his story. Okay. Like who introduces someone like that? Oh, my gosh. It's, it shows that you have a, an agenda, you know. All right. Let's see his reaction. Oh my god. We don't care about the testimony. I, I really don't. I just I'm did not, a Rajel 430 day challenge and it, that's nice. There's also that. like, wow. This does not sound like he cares about morbidly obese people or obese people. I don't think you do either. Uh, I, I already explained this. Like, I, great, good for her. That's great. I'm, I'm sure if she's lost weight, I'm happy for her. But again, I don't care about her. I'm not making this video about her. I don't want her to be in my video because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to bring any attention to her. I'm trying to bring attention to you. I don't understand how that is so hard to understand. Again, shouldn't he be celebrating? He just like conveniently skips past his entire awesome testimonial from a morbidly obese individual getting fantastic results on the lifestyle I recommend. He doesn't want to share it with his audience, which is the truth. He doesn't want to share the truth. He wants to hold it back, which I find really unacceptable. And it really shows his true intentions, okay? It doesn't. It shows that he doesn't care, like he acts like he does. If he really cared, he'd be like, well, that's great. He'd be like, wow, that is awesome. This individual improved their life by eating fruits and vegetables. This is amazing. But he's like, he doesn't want to know about it. And I find that very telling. I have tried different diets. I have tried different sports. I have tried going to different doctors, taking different pills. But nothing seemed to work. I even tried... Dude, how... Her editing is so bad, man. Like, the audio is everywhere. I'm hearing only this in my left ear. Like, I know you're saying I don't do my research and I don't work hard on these videos, which, hey, man, they're live streams. They maybe we get them out real quick. But, like, holy smokes, man. Jeez. Come on, please. A little bit better. I tried fasting for three weeks. I ate nothing for three weeks. And, yes, I lost some 10 kilograms. But a few months later, they came back carrying a big bonus of fat. So I was desperate. And I was praying to find an answer and a solution to my problem. And one day... A little bit over two years ago, I searched online and I found about this high carb pro vegan lifestyle. And it was like finding an answer to my prayers. Suddenly, I realized that I should give it a try. I don't, I, I don't know why, but this seems like some sort of cult video to me. This is a little creepy. <laughs> this doesn't seem very. Seems I don't know. It sounds like uh, this is a little weird. And here I am, two years later. I am still following this lifestyle because it's the best thing that could have happened to me. Because I have, I, I feel great again. I feel vibrant again. I feel lean again. I feel fresh again, and I feel life again. Okay, so let's get to the end here. Um. Wow. <laughs> A little. I, it's just frustrating, man. Like I've said before, like this is where like the bullying and stuff, like 100% is. Hang on, your whole video is bullying me. Okay, so you're being a huge hypocrite. You're... I mean, yeah. I I wouldn't even say I'm being a hypocrite because i i'm not even saying that i'm not bullying you but the like how your whole channel is based on that how many times do I, oh my gosh whole video is just bullying me it's so frustrating because then it makes people like me that are but, but you haven't tried to give any thoughtful commentary you've just been laughing mocking no science trying you know like to say why you know i'm such a bad person why my recommendations are so unhealthy or anything like that it's just basically a lot of mocking and bullying so this is highly hypocritical because then it makes people like me that are genuinely out there trying to make videos and are trying to help other people or help other people that might be trying to lose weight. They come across this and they assume that I am some way connected to this or I feel this. Wow. This is interesting, okay? So this video he made here took him like, he just took one take, you know, 40 minutes, whatever, just slapped. That, that is what it was. It was a, f come on, it was a live stream. How do you not, come on, man. Like, obviously it was a live stream. Hello. Basically, the video I made for Anna took me like a week to make. 
I had to get all the food into chronometer, I had to design it for her. It took me a long time, okay? And he has the gall to say that I don't care about her. And it was just bullying. And, you know, people like him, you know, they're not like me. Okay, the fact that you put more work into a video, taking down someone's diet and making them feel bad about it, I'm sorry, but that doesn't um, mean that you're a better that you're a better person or that you care more about that person. Maybe it means that you care more about your content, and that's fine. We can make that argument if you want to say that, whatever. Uh, my content's a lot, you know, I'm able to make it a lot easier, a lot faster. You know, I've worked to make that happen, but whatever. You know, if you disagree, that's fine. But, like, to say that because I put more time into making this video that I know for a fact and is not happy is out there, and is saying that because I've put more work into it, I care more about the person is absolutely ridiculous. And they really, really care. Uh, I think I'm showing that I actually really, really care. Okay, that's why I've been making videos a very long time. That's why I've been telling people the truth, putting myself into uncomfortable situations, you know, where people want to basically kill me because I know the truth is what we need to give to people. They need to hear it, especially those who are on death's door. Okay, they need to hear it or else, like, no one's going to tell them. People are just like, they're there, it's okay. You know, do your best. You know, calorie restrict, you'll get you really think that my videos, especially in the past year, have been, oh yeah, yeah, it's fine, totally be, be it's it's totally fine to be to be morbidly obese and like there's nothing you can do about it and it's you should totally feel fine. Like you really think that that's that's the types of videos I've made. Like obviously it's not, and you know that because you went back years and years and years and looked at all my videos. So it's just so frustrating, man. Get that it doesn't work, and I know this, and I learned the truth, and that's why I I push the truth out there. And he's trying to say that he doesn't want to be associated with me because I'm like. A bully and a bad person and i don't really care that's just the same way i have the same sentiments when one well yeah no i don't <laughs> yes that's that's how i feel thousand percent i i do not and i think that this is disgusting i think that it's it's such an obvious just money grab to try and make a video to promote your dumb cookbooks like fifty thousand times and try and make people eat five thousand calories of bananas like he is so aggressive your dumb cookbook fifty thousand times okay i mean i was i was heated yeah i'm not gonna lie because i care about this stuff you know that's what happens. When you care about something, you get mad. I feel like that's a pretty normal thing. I don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with, with feeling that way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the testosterone. <laughs> that's, that's a real shame, okay? It's a real shame that he feels that way. And what can I say? You know that I'm not here just to make money. That's why I have over a thousand free videos. I have a lot of free content. I made one of the- I also have over 1,100 free videos. The biggest vegan websites in the world, free. Tons of free information. And then he's like, you're just promoting a dumb cookbook. Ooh, okay, so it's like 31 degrees in the studio at the moment. I'm going to end the video here. It's it's a shame to have him just mock, bully, not bring any, you know, real substance to the video. Like the person, like Esme said in her message, you know, and people actually found the video that he made and actually said, I don't agree with John. I agree with you. So even his own viewers, a lot of his own viewers are agreeing once they watch the video. They're like, yes. But obviously in the comments below his video, they're all just trashing me because it's just, it's popular to trash the truth. It's easier to just stay average and mediocre than to step up to the next level. Dude, it's just, that's how it is on YouTube, right? Like, I have m more of my supporters obviously are going to watch my video, so that, therefore, the comment section is going to reflect that. Just like I'm sure in this video on, on YouTube right now, there's a bunch of people that are uh, trashing me and defending you. Like, it's just how it works. Like, that's, I'm not surprised, but I want to go down, oh, these people are being mean to me because in the comments they're being, like, no, it's, of course they are. It's your, your video, your channel. Of course you're going to have more supporters there. Like, that's, okay level so john yes please provide your blood test so we can see your testosterone your, your full blood count your sugar levels i would love to see all that because you think my lifestyle is so unhealthy and i think you're a lot younger than me too so i please don't leave us hanging with that get it done i couldn't find any blood tests on your your channel so that would be great and yeah because who 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 is like hey guys it's tuesday time to release some blood tests for you guys here you go no no one does that that's weird like you, I don't care about your blood test results. I don't think that that has, that's not the end all be all of health. Like if you think that is like, I don't even think that she thinks that it is. And that's what's so frustrating. And please do more research on what I actually stand for before you do these videos. And next time, please bring some like real, some science or some, you know, well thought out kind of, you know, argument against, you know, the facts that I'm bringing. I would love to hear that from you rather than just mocking, bullying, belittling throughout the whole video and misrepresenting and making me seem like a terrible person. All right, anyway, don't forget to go for yourself and I'll see you next video. If you have that voice. All right, well, that was a fun video. Um, I don't know, like I said, the whole thing, my, my whole issue with, um, with Freely and not even just with Freely, with people that promote something that is, it, it doesn't take into account, you know, having to be in a caloric deficit, it doesn't take into account science, like, it's so frustrating because it can't, it genuinely can hurt people. 
Like it genuinely can. And whether or not Freely is fine with that and doesn't care about it and is is like aware of that and is trying to hurt people, I, I, I don't think that that's the case. But it definitely does seem like she knows that she can make money off of this thing. And she is promoting something that isn't backed by science and that many, many, many people disagree with. And that sadly, many, many, many people have been hurt by trying. Um, and so that's that's my issue. It's not because you want to eat fruit. It's not because you want to eat vegetables. It's not because you don't eat uh, you know, animals. More power to you. I have many friends that are vegan. It's not because you're a vegan. That truly doesn't matter to me. I c- could care, couldn't care less, I think is the right way to say it. Like, I, don't, I don't care about that. It's not that. It's the fact that you're promoting something that isn't backed by science, and then you're going to make people that are really, really overweight try and force themselves to eat 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 calories a day in fruit and vegetables, and then they, when they are not losing weight, they're going to think for themselves that now, oh, there's something wrong with me because I'm doing this thing that Freely said, and it's still not working for me, so there's something wrong with me, and that's what's really frustrating. Uh, I, I really don't like that because you are taking advantage of people that are in a position um, that are in a very vulnerable position, okay? And I don't like that. And that really, really, really frustrates me.